Okay, welcome back to Breakfast Daily right here on City TV. Now, today is a really, really packed and exciting show. Uh, we spoke to um, an Android spy who is a fantastic personality world over. And now, speaking of world over, we have a world without a choice. Eugene Gray joining us right here on Breakfast Daily. Good morning, Eugene. Good morning. It's, uh, let, let me just shake the hand of greatness. <laughs> hand of greatness. Wow. I mean, I'm just stay like that forever and just like, take like a hundred pictures. You're such a big deal, you know, not, not just in Jamaica, but world over. How, 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 how do you, I mean, being in Ghana, how long have you been here? Right? Um, Two weeks. I came, I came on the 4th, I'm going to be leaving um, Saturday night. Wow. Back to living in the U.S. My wife and I decided that we needed to see Ghana. Wow. And she also celebrated our birthday here last night. So, it's been a joy. It's been a world with us for 10 weeks. And it's amazing if you're just happy to be here. It's amazing. Now, let, let's let's get into it. I just want to jump straight into your career for, for those who do not know exactly who Eugene Gray is. I mean, I'm, I'm a lover of reggae music, and I love classical music. Right. And, and you, you blend every aspect of those perfectly, and jazz as well. Yes. Well, I'm one of the pioneers of jazz reggae. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody's doing everything else in mm -hmm. reggae music. I'm quite fine, but I think someone had to approach it from this angle. Mm. And, you know, my kind of thinking, my mind, I like things a little bit more challenging. Mm -hmm. And before someone else could come along to claim that part of that, that culture, I decided it, it, it is incumbent upon me, and it is my duty as a Jamaican to also own jazz reggae because it is coming. It has been here. You have myself. Um, there's another great guitar player, Mr. Ernest Rampin. He's my senior by 20 years. Um, we have Monty Alexander, my senior by 10 years. There's a lot of famous piano player. We have been doing it, but officially, it's not a genre that you will find on the internet. When, if you look up jazz reggae, there's basically another category for it. Mm -hmm. But we are calling it jazz reggae or reggae jazz, however you want to term it. And it's a very progressive way of looking at reggae to reharmonize. Uh, a simple song. Uh, do I have sound? Okay. Yeah, uh, you, you, have sound. you have sound. You have sound. Let's do that. Can I get a little more? Yeah, can we, can we have a little more volume to your Okay. For example, the regular Bob Marley song. No. <laughs> I, will, I will play a little classical and then the jazz in it. So you need to be like a classical in your loop. I remember when 
him, I'm going to quote exactly what the magazine said. It says, Eugene Gray is yet another of the many genius guitarists of world-class status that Jamaica has ever produced. So it's not just your, like, a world-class status now. Since history of Jamaica, you are one of the finest, you know. And, and you work with many Grammy Award winning uh, bands and musical groups worldwide. So tell us about some of these people. Uh, wow, there's, there's so many. What, let me start with the, the, the biggest of the groups. Uh, there was a band in New York City called Kipriona the Coconuts. Uh, they were an American group. But it was an American group that incorporated the Caribbean touch they wanted them to the Caribbean African team. So that's, that was my function in the band, to bring the American music into a more African field. And um, it's a band that was signed with, you know, Ida Records, um, Warner Brothers, um, you name it, they've been signed with them. And I have toured all over the world. I've experienced a lot of cultures working with this band. And they work at a high level. They, um, way back 30 years ago, they would pay me $1,000 a week, $50 per day. Um, wow. Even for one show for the week, it's fine. Five star hotels and the whole works. That was the life. Yes. That was the life. I, I still get some royalties from them. <laughs> right now. Wow. And I played on most of their albums. Mm -hmm. um, I have also toured with um, Culture, a reggae mm -hmm. um, vocal group out of Jamaica, Roots and the Matos, mm -hmm. um, Burning Sphere. I did, um, before I went to do, become a full time teacher at Pop Music in the School, I was with Burning Sphere and I really, really enjoyed that reggae band too. So, mm -hmm. just the name of a few of them, you know. Now, before we go on, you tell me about one particular uh, song, Song for Jam. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about that particular song? Uh, it's the song for Jam. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you pull that one from the archives? <laughs> <laughs> it was a song of praise. Mm -hmm. And what I was saying in that song, it doesn't matter what name you call your God. I'm just going to use the word of Jah. I'm Jamaican. Jah is Rasta Park. Yes, I'm not a Rastafarian, but it's the Jamaican thing about it. So I wrote that song basically saying to whosoever listens to it, this song is for you. I am singing my praise to my God. Sing the same praise to your God. 
I saw I sing this song. Well, it's not on. You want to play a bit on You want to play a bit on that one? I'll play a bit on that one. I'll play a bit on So deep they had no end. Reminiscing on projecting black parts of creation makes me give thanks for the gift of life. Do -do 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 some vices, you know, as well. So if you had any advice for the young people out there who, you know, want to follow your step, what exactly would you say? Well, the first thing, be true to yourself, listen to your inner self. What works for me is speaking to my greater continually. When I pick up my instrument, I ask to clear my mind, creator to help me to clear my mind because I'm just a vehicle. I am not the music. The music is a language and I have been bestowed upon a blessing to interpret that language, to touch emotion and to feel the spirit. I want to lift your spirit. So I would advise young players to find your truth. Music helps me to find my truth. In music, I learn to understand who or what is my creator. Because how can I say to you, I'm happy, but when I pick up my instrument, I'm being very angry. That's not true. That's the opposite of truth. So I, what comes out of my instrument is what is in my mind. What is my mind? The place where my creator lives and speaks to me from there is like a huge, it's, for me the creator is like a big transmitter at this place. And I'm just a little radio, just saying what the transmitter is telling me. So I, I look for that purity in my music. I'm not perfect, but I try to do my, my craft as honest and sincere and uh, to the best of my ability. Musician is also an athlete. You have to practice your music. Thank you so very much, you did great for joining us on Vector Day. And um, I, 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 I would have, I know you said, wish you all the best in your career, but you are the career. You are ready. <laughs> you are. Thank you so much for joining us on Vector's Day. And it's important also what you're doing with your nonprofit organization, very. which you're a co-founder of. Yes, my, myself and my wife, Felicia, sitting over there. We, we started this in 2011, and my simple philosophy is all the things that we call knowledge that we didn't invent, mm -hmm. I use it to okay. make myself who I am, but I cannot take it with me. Okay. When I leave this body, I have to leave it behind here. It okay. came from some place that I could get it, and I have to leave it on because young people need it. And you know, hopefully it will end enhance someone's life. Okay, so what's the, what's the official website? EugeneGray.com? Uh, yes, and um, for the non-profit, it's yeah. rootsofmusic.org. Roots of yeah. 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 And it's spelled R-O-O-T-Z, not O-O-T-S. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much once again for joining us on Breakfast Daily. Now, um, for more, you know what, you just, you just have to find out everything about him. It's, it's just knowledge upon knowledge upon knowledge, and I think it's good for our generation. Thank you once again for joining us. You're now next we're talking relationships and uh still reminding you that our war against indiscipline is still